Patty, can you differentiate this function? Yeah, I just learned the power today in calc class. Here. Ta-da! Very good, Patty. But can you differentiate this function? Oh, of course, the power rule. This is cosine of 4x. Ta-da! Silly Patty, you can't use the power rule on a problem like that. <laughs> no, you have to use the chain rule. The chain rule? <gasps> The chain rule. But what did I do? I just differentiated the first part of the function and then I um, multiplied it by the derivative of the inner part of the function. Oh, I get it! So, right, do you think you're ready to move on to a harder problem? Of course, the chain rule! Okay, Patty, do you think you can differentiate this problem? Of course, the chain rule! So, using the chain rule, I'll get the derivative first of the outside. The tangent, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. And leaving the inside, because we have to do the outside first, we'll rewrite the inside. Using the chain rule, going into the inside, we will take the derivative of secant without touching this. And the derivative of secant is secant x tangent x. But this is the x, so we would have to write that in both secant and tangent, which will be secant of x plus 5x squared multiplied by tangent of x plus 5x squared. But we're not done yet. The inside of it also has to be differentiated, which is, of course, the, the derivative of x plus 5x squared is 1 plus 10x. So we will also add that to the end of our equation, 1 plus 10x. One plus ten x. And ta-da! That is our derivative answer for this question. Very good, Holly. I think you understand the chain rule now. Yay! The chain rule!